Hi, I'm Sunflower. And I'm Doc. And we are here to talk to you about Persona 4 Arena for the PS3 and 360. It's a fighting game published by Atlas involving the Persona world. In fact, all of it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's called P4 Arena, but they do include some Persona 3 characters in it as well. Uh, this is an Arc System jump-off, uh, so it's like your Blast Blue games and your typical anime fighters, so it's, it's a little bit more flavor than the actual Capcom games, uh, just a little different in style. How do you like this system? Well, the actual fighting itself, the animations, if anything, are lacking. That's the only real problem I have with it. The rest of the game is very functional and quite a bit of fun. And the characters themselves are a lot of, they got a lot of enjoyment, you know, a lot of individuality, a lot of fun to play. Um, The only problem, like I said, was the animation sometimes feels very stiff. And if you're not a big fan of ARC's games, you may find... uh, you have a little bit of trouble getting into this one. It is two-dimensional. Uh, it is very pretty, though. I will give it that. Uh, yeah, it does have a lot of flavor, but I agree with you. The animations are lacking a little bit. Uh, the way the system works is that you have your main character, and they have their attacks, and also their persona has their own attacks. So each one has two normal moves, and then you can expand upon that with special moves. So there's a lot of different things you can do um, in terms of mixing up with persona attacks that can lead out to range while your main character does something else. It creates a little different atmosphere than most typical fighters. Yeah, it definitely has that. Um, They've also introduced uh, auto combo mode, which is a very, 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 very simple way to bust out the same combo repeatedly (laughs) by just hitting one button. You will do it, and in some characters' cases, you will also do their super moves. um, They may have a different name for those. Uh, Pretty much if you have enough bar, you will perform that special move at the end, you know, whatever that releases your persona, unleashes hell on everything. Uh, The downside to the auto combo is that it does take off a chunk of health, but that health is regainable over time. And the thing I didn't like about that is that even if you're low on health, you can still do the auto combo and live. I was hoping that maybe if you had not enough health to perform the auto combo, it would not. This is very true. Now, I did play some games online, and so did you. What was your online experience like? Was it nice and lag-free? The netcode is extremely well done. Uh, some some games going into, you know, there's a little custom intro sequence, depending on what characters you pick, and that's laggy. But normally, the second you actually get into a match, it's virtually lag-free. At least it appears so. I think maybe out of the 35 matches I've played online... Maybe two had real noticeable lag. That's not to say there isn't latency issues in which blocking, because I I, I don't think it's me, but a lot of times I would feel like I thought I blocked that. It could be because I'm not used to the system, or it could be that little bit of latency, but there's no real notice choppiness during actual fights. Did you find the same thing on PlayStation? Uh, Actually, yeah, I kind of did. There were quite a few attacks that I could have sworn I had blocked, but maybe it was just the lag, maybe it was uh, just me not knowing if it's going to be a high or a low attack, things like that. And I won (laughs) the vast majority of my matches, which is surprising to me, because normally I get abused, but I will admit I use that auto combo quite a bit, and uh, that really evens the playing field, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really easy to hit confirm an A and make it safe, so why not use the auto combo if you have the health to do so? I, yeah. on the other hand, did not win most of my fights. I'm sitting around 35% on the Xbox, and I don't know, because I don't want to say you're better at fighting games than I am, I'm but not. I, I don't think it's the, I think it's just the uh, the quality of people online, or maybe I'm just playing at a different time, and, and usually what time you play at really, really affects uh, the type of people you're playing against. Now, they do have a story mode in this game. It's all not just arcade mode and online. They've got your score attack mode. They've got galleries. They've got things like that. They also have a story mode for each one of the characters. It's very in-depth and pretty long. I'm saying it took me about uh, 30 to 45 minutes to go through one of the stories. Uh, Yeah, it is extremely long, and you can't really skip any of it, well, at least automatically, unless you've played that story arc before. Uh, so it's it's typical Persona story, which a lot of people will enjoy if you are a Persona fan. Lots uh, of thinking in your head and expressing yourself. Yeah, pretty much. A lot of words on the page, not that many cutscenes or actions. I think in a typical, typical story arc, there's only five fights, uh, and it takes about 45 minutes to play the like one arc. So it's a lot of story and not a lot of action. These fights are just one-round fights, so it's it's... 
They're very throwaway. Yeah. Um, they've also got some animation, but you're lucky to see two videos through the whole thing. Uh, the rest is just presented in this really, I mean, honestly to me, it's very poorly done text interface and bad looking cutscenes. Uh, I just I really was not impressed with the story itself and the way it presented itself. I would have really liked to have seen a little bit more of a dynamic story that's told because you do get some choices in the story mode. Sometimes you can choose how you want to answer and it will take you to different areas, different directions. And there are some alternate endings for other ones. Some would call them true endings, things like that. And it's really, to be honest with you, just a pain to go through the story even if you're paying attention and enjoying it and you're into it, because I was into it in the beginning, and then eventually I just got really tired of going through all that text. Yeah, in order to actually play the entire story, you need to play pretty much every single character, too, because each one has a slightly different story, and a lot of things don't unlock until you play more story arcs. Uh, so it's it's rather tiresome. It's not as good a story as Mortal Kombat, in which that was very, very dynamic, um, very quick, lots of fighting, and you went through the whole range of characters automatically. Uh, this is, you pick a character, you go through, and 45 minutes later, you're you're out. Uh, it takes a lot. It certainly does. Now, uh, me and Doc, we talked a little bit before the end of this video, or before we started recording, and we said that, uh, well, what would you give this game? He said he would give it an 8 out of 10. I said I'd give it a 6. I say 6 because the uh, the fighting itself is functional, but not ex- you know exceptional. The uh, story mode is unfortunately a very, very dark black spot on it. I do have fun while I play it, though, and it's definitely a little bit better than average for me. But, Doc, you felt a little bit stronger about the game? Yeah, I didn't want to hold back the story mode that much, because it, it is better than a lot of the story mode in other fighting games. Uh, and maybe because I'm a Persona fan, and I like that type of story, uh, even though it is very, very outdated. Uh, but it's better than you know a Street Fighter story, which is pretty much arcade mode. Uh, so I enjoyed it that much better. That and I'm giving it a great story because that uh, the the net code is awesome. It's a really really well done net code. In this day and age, you need a solid net code. Uh, King of Fighters 13 didn't launch off the ground really because it has a terrible net code, and this has an excellent one. So I gave it those that little extra point. So if you're a fighting game fan, there's plenty to enjoy here, but maybe not a lot to love. However, if you're a Persona fan, there's a lot to love and not so much to enjoy. So it's kind of a uh, double-edged sword there. But uh, we stand together giving this game a 7 out of 10. 